Hey guys, it's Chris, and we're up a little higher than normal. Well, one of 13 boxes that I just wanted to dig out. Because I haven't went through them in a long time, and I want to see what's in them. Um, so I got all these, well, it looks like 1998 Amiga Informer magazines. Uh, Life, June 95, Life After Death Commodore. Amiga World, I think everybody had Amiga World. These are 95, February, March, April. Amazing Amiga Computer, Gateway Signs. Petro Toshenko, New Voyagers coming out. Video Engine, Video Toaster 4000 tips. Maybe that'll come in handy for me. More Amiga, God, how many Amiga Worlds do I have? So I like Amiga Magazine, Amiga Magazine, Amiga Magazine. Amiga Magazine, Star Trek The Next Generation, a final walkthrough on dot matrix printer paper. Printed that out on the Amiga, another Amiga Informer. Amiga World, Amiga World, Quake on the Amiga format, holy crap. What is this? Linux, the next Amiga OS, 1999, 94. The big Christmas edition of Amiga format came with a uh, cannon fodder soccer. I think I saw the disc somewhere. Some more Amiga former. Dag on. Uh, Amiga Net. Netware 4. How'd that get in there? My car amp. Multi Face 3 car. Fast Prep. Scuzzy Prep. A 520 book. What is this? Chris Work Commodore stuff. More piece of my old. Oh my gosh, I haven't seen these in a year. Look at these. My Commodore hats that I got when I worked repairing crap. That's cool. I'm going to get them out of here. I'll take a picture of these. You'll probably be watching this video after I post the picture because I get excited about stuff. A brand new DSS-8 Digital Sound Studio. It's kind of classics yellowy and cracking. I paid 100 bucks for that sucker. Bonus extra disc of sound effects. Still in the box. Never opened. Cool. My US Robotics Sportster 56K modem with power supply. Fetch it still fires up. Two boxes of discs, it looks like. Oh. I think these are my BBS discs. Oh my god. Ugh. What else is in here? Well, that's not for 2000. A PC book. Those hats are something else. I ain't seen them in years. Got these two big totes of discs out of that one box. Look like they ain't seen the last day in forever. They're probably just all my acquired uh, things. Return of the Jedi, Ninja Warrior, Lemmings, Cannon Fire, King's Quest. Looks like a bunch of old games. Batman, Black Crypt, Dark Mirror, Shaq Fu, Wing Commander, Space Ace, Walker. Everything you can get on WHD load now. These are the original floppy sport. What's that? Rise of the Dragon. Jaguar XJ220. Valhalla 2. Rise of the Robots. Fancy Flyer. Loom. Oh, my BBS disc. I think this one's utilities. D Paint 5. Printmaster. What is this? Dark Mirror Disc 1. Can do. You can do a demo. I know what trucks. Octomed. <laughs> Amiga Workbench 1.3. That don't go in there. That should go in my other box. I'll put that over there. Master ISO CD burning software for the Amiga. I actually needed that. Imagine 1.1 shoot 'em up construction set. Real discs. Brilliance image effects. Super Jam. Hamlab Plus games in there. What's this? I guess I ran out of room and started stacking them sideways. Fujifilm. Image effects. Looks like a lot of backups. Sassy. Image master. Lionheart. Some more games. Desert Strike. Indiana Jones. Detroit. Last Soldier. A lot of games. Agony. Alphabetical order, castles, 
Centurion, guys by Death Mask, Eye of the Beholder, Dark Century, Digipaint, Disposable Heroes, Goblins, Battle Chess, Dragon's Lair 3, Embryo, 5 disc for that, Laser Suit Larry 5, Mortal Kombat 2, SimCity 2000, that was a pretty good game, Eye of the Beholder, not bad. These are just books from work. How to hook up an Amiga A520. GVP fast prep for my whatever. My 4008 book. Multi face serial card. That's the, the Hydra uh, ma manual printed with a just looks like some construction paper. AmigaNet is an Ethernet network system for the Commodore Amiga range of microcomputers and workstations. What? 10 megs? Embod. It runs from 4 to 1,000 times faster. 1,000 times faster than other available network protocols? I don't know about that. Neat. The network drivers for it. All these Amiga cover disks are pretty neat. Apparently I have a lot of them. I have two issue 16s and issue 10. $3.25 for these. I don't uh... They're all black and white. I remember this big one. That thing's awesome. Amiga World. I think I subscribed to a lot of it. Oh look, uh, Jim Cullis in 1999 is Amiga Incorporated's new president. Quick time for the Amiga. Running on 3.9, it looks like. This is 99. Let's see what we have. Uh, so we have Safe Harbor Computers in Wakusha, Wisconsin. Uh, for Amiga DOS 3.1, you had to call. An Apollo 1230 Mark II 40 megahertz was $150. Cyberstorm PPC 233 CPU call. Yeah, that means we don't have them. Oh my god, an iOmega 1 gig jazz drive external. Got one sitting right over there. $478? Holy god, Picasso 4, 4 meg was $399. Wish I could find one for that now. Picasso 4 Denise adapter, additional 50 bucks. Squirrel Scuzzy, 99. Time base corrector 4, 900. Wow. 900? Damn. Uh, toaster, toaster flyer bundle, call, call. 20 bucks for a mouse. CD-ROM titles, that's funny. $115 for Ad Pro 2.5. Amiga Forever was $58 at the time. 2.0. So I got that right up there. GVP wasn't far away from when I went to the Moss building. Yep, I'm saying Moss. People are yelling at me because I didn't call it MOS. It's Moss. Have you ever heard it called C Moss? C M O S? No. Look at that beautiful machine. The Amiga 3000. 1994. Nice. How much stuff cost? Oh, there's an M-plant board with a 486 DX2 for 279. Wow. I love looking back at these old prices and looking at how much more Amiga stuff comes now. Man. 8372B, 2 megabyte Agnes, $25. $25. I gotta get my time machine fixed to go back and get some parts. Crazy. So these are really interesting to look through. Life after death of Commodore, right after they went out of bankruptcy. Making music. Did the back rip off? Oh no. Blizzard, 1234, 299, 32 megs of RAM. Oh, wait a minute. 8 megs of RAM. 32-bit. Uh, no prices. 1230 Turbo 50, 299 with MMU. SCSI module, 100 bucks. <laughs> there you go. <coughs> Excuse me. Rona. Cyberstorm, 680, 60, $49 with no memory. You can add 128 megs of RAM, 72 pin SIMs. Good luck finding that. $1,300 back in the day. That is 
freaking crazy. I got 10 minutes on this battery. More Amiga Informers. Uh, where did this magazine come out of? Uh, this was uh, Newburg, New York. Oh, I got a white magazine for $1.66 subscription. They did different reviews. They had oh, Divine Computers was another one. Uh, DivineInc.com. They sold look, I guess, a lot of different things. A lot of Amiga hardware, software. CyberVision 64, 250. CyberVision 64, Scan Doubler 125. DKB Mega Chip. Uh, they had two models: the 2500 149, the other apparently 500 149 with Agnes. Crazy. Good luck finding that right now. Uh, Apollo 1260, 60 to 60, 50. 12, that was the 1200 version, 699. The freaking Amiga itself cost uh, Amiga 4000T, 60 to 40, 1.28 gigabyte hard drive, 6 megs of RAM, SCSI card, software bundle, 1895. Brand new Amiga 1200, 60 to 20, 16 megahertz with hard drive, 2 megs of RAM, 599. Mega Dell Sales 3.1, 39, New Tech Video Toaster, 17.95 with the 4000T. These prices are crazy. $2,000 for a video toaster with a um, 4000T with a video toaster, 4.1, light wave switcher, character generator paint that came with it, 20.45. A 9.1 gigabyte hard drive was $899. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, these hard drive prices are crazy. Stuff we take for granted on a little memory card now, and then two gigabytes was $400 back in the day. Nine gigabyte Cheetah, 15,000 RPM, five year warranty Seagate, $1,799. I'll go back for some chips, but I ain't going back for some, uh, some stuff. The Amiga is back for the future in 98. Boxer continues classic Amigas, the Siamese PCI, June, July, December 98, New Tech speaks out, networking the Amiga, I might look through these, and uh, oh, a new utility called Snoop DOS, check that out, January 99, what does the future hold, you can't see any of that, Amiga 4000 shortage was resolved, well that's a good thing, a lot of power PC, Stuff, Cunix, mm, PPCs, Towers to the Rescue, G3 Power, coming to Classic? Nope. The clones are coming. Find out who's making what. There's different models. That was the Micronic. I don't know what the hell that thing is. That's a, that's a SCOM 4000T, and that's like a boxer looking. I don't know what that is, but it's ugly. It's Showtime from Toronto and Sacramento. Power PC support grows. Ask Dr. Amiga. Caught in the Aminette. January 99. Same. I have a dupe of that one apparently. So that's box number one. Interesting thing is these Commodore hats from Chris Work Commodore stuff. This box got stains on it. So it's been through the daggone mill. It's been sitting here for a long time. So these are my brand new Commodore hats that I had to wear at work. A little crusty on some of them, a little dusty. A couple fuzz balls. Kind of crusty. They smell like that old stinky box. But that's kind of cool. So I'll take a picture of those. I'll post that on the Facebook group. You're probably already going to see it by the time this even airs. But this is really cool too. I've never used it. I've never had a reason to use it. Uh, $99.00. Everything you need for a 5, 6, 12, 2, 3, and 4,000 to capture clearly superior sound samples with your Amiga. Brand new, in the box. Never going to use it. Maybe I'll sell it. Maybe what I'm going to start doing is because I have, like, so much Amiga stuff, and I'm not an a-hole where I'm going to gouge people on the internet for hundreds of freaking dollars for something. Maybe I'll uh, pick my favorite... Commodore friends and start sending them some of this stuff because there's no way on God's green earth that I'm going to ever use all this stuff. It's my stuff, so you know, I can ultimately make the decision. I appreciate your input, but what do you think about me doing like a live stream giveaway? Does that sound cool? 
I don't know. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Comment on the Facebook groups. I'll post something there. I'm going to take a picture of these upstairs on my dining room table where it's a little bit nicer wood, and I'll post that on the Facebook group. But by the time this airs, it could be a month or so away, and you might have already saw it, so I hope you enjoyed that. But that was the unboxing of me finding my old work hats. I got some, uh, well, this is a aftermarket shirt, but I have some uh, other stuff too, but I'll have to look for that. So we'll continue with these unboxings. These are a little brief in-between videos while I'm working on different hardware things. I'm actually trying to dig for my other Amigas. So thank you for watching. Hope this uh, brought up some memories and maybe you learned something.